This week, our series, Getting the Job, is taking you inside the search for work. Our aim is to help you or someone you know stand out from the crowd, nail the interview, and know the market. Today, we're identifying the scope of what's happening. With an unemployment number hovering around 6% here in West Michigan, things seem better on the job front here. Truth is, we found numbers that show struggling families and their need for more stable work. 24-Hour News 8's Ryan Takeo joins us live in studio with who's left behind and who's not being counted, Ryan? Our state's 8.9% unemployment rate is not the best economic indicator. For one, those who are un underemployed are not counted. Neither are those who give up on the job search. Earlier this month, we spent one week examining a new kind of job fair following job seekers who refuse to give up. Purpose of the workshop? A lot of motivation, a lot of people that are depending on me, so you know, that's why I'm here. There is no one face of West Michigan unemployment. They know daddy's not working now. But the difference is among the five job seekers we met. It gets discouraging after a while. Shed some light on the struggle they all share. As a single mom, you know, if you got no help, what are you going to do? It's kind of hard. If I don't do it, my kids won't eat. I've had nothing. You know, it was assignments, jobs ended. Don't be scared of Instead of doing a typical career fair, let's do something that really brought them together. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. It's very different from that experience. Somebody throw me a break. If you're looking for something typical. There you go. You need not apply. Seriously. <laughs> this is crazy. You can do it. Ready now is a three-day grind. You have rehearsed this, though, so it's not going to scare you. Two days of workshops. There you go. Okay. Team building. Yeah. Skills sharpening. The more detail, the more information that you put in there um, can really help you. And have a seat right over here. Yes, thank you. Then the last day, job seekers get three interviews. That was what they were there for. So we want to help people be successful. The whole time, their potential employers are there. Real companies giving pointers. Communicating what you've done, what your skills are, and how that can relate to, to what I'm looking for. And making connections. That's a huge investment for them, but there's a real benefit, that direct employer uh, job seeker interaction that's not in an interview or recruiting type of setting. Okay. This event at GVSU's Allendale campus focused on manufacturing, with 13 companies there. All the applicants had to have some history in the industry. Oh, it gets hard, but I just, I don't, you know, I don't let it break me. Including Maria Quinton, a single mom with three boys. You know, I got some really great kids and they understand that, hey, times get tough. And, you know, as long as mom's pushing and she's going and we don't see her falling apart, then, hey, something's going right. Well, let's say you get a job tomorrow, you get a job in a week. Wow. Lester Meadows. If I got a job out of this, that would mean the world to me. I am serious about being full time. And David Gualtieri both had long manufacturing careers cut down by the Great Recession and both recently bounced around temporary jobs. I'm trying to find something permanent. I have a wife and kids to take care of. All right, I see you too. This was guaranteed FaceTime, a rare chance these days. Doing the face to face is a lot better than doing an online thing because at least they could get to see who I am. The event, time consuming for all involved allow job seekers to learn where they could improve. If you don't practice these steps, okay, you could really be making a big mistake. But they had to be fast learners. The final exam. Tell me about yourself, what you're looking for today. Those interviews. I have a resume and a sample employment application for you. We're just a couple days away. West Michigan's unemployment rates range from 6.2% in Kent County to 8.6% in Muskegon County. But the rate of people who are underemployed in our state, that's at 16%. That's another topic we'll be discussing throughout the week. Our special reports air all this week at daybreak. And here at 5, we have a lot of resources, too, uh, online at woodtv.com, including how to find the job you want, how to get that job, and how to keep it. Mm -hmm. These sessions seem to be like, you know, rebooting kind of keep your enthusiasm in it, a a reset a little yep. bit. It's a self-confidence booster, yeah. reassess things, get another look. You're just getting a lot of looks at your resume, how to present yourself, your branding, things like that. Mm -hmm. Neat. That's and they're going on all around the state, too. Yeah. These are ready now. Good luck to those applicants. It's mm -hmm. going to be very helpful. Ryan, thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Ryan. As mentioned, tomorrow morning on Daybreak, we're going to talk with someone from Goodwill Industries who will speak to where to start your online job search including the best websites to check out and how to read a job posting to make sure that you're a match.